Okay, hello mga students. Meron akong isang sample dito ng job order costing problem. Short lang ito, ano, which is a typical of a problem na binibigay kapag mga quizzes or mga exams. So please, you can check it on the book of ano, no, Keen and Rayborn sa end ng kanilang chapter 5. Now we have the problem about Mystic Incorporated. That uses, oh, please follow me as I read this to you, ano? gumagamit daw ito ng job order costing system at ina-apply yung overhead sa mga jobs at a predetermined rate of $4.25 kada labor hour. Okay? $4.25 per direct labor dollar. Sa isang piso, kung i-convert natin ito sa peso, no? Uh, same lang ano, same lang na amounts. I mean palitan lang natin yung sign. Instead of dollar, gawin natin itong local, no? So parang sa isang piso mo, the direct labor R, ang yung overhead ay 4.25. So 4.25 times. Kumbaga, yun yung ibig nito sabihin. Now, during April 2010, the company spent $29,600 on direct material and $3,900 on direct labor para kay job 344 among other jobs ano so please take note that this amounts here for dm and for dl pertains only to job 344 budgeted factory overhead for the company for the year was 1.275 million that we have to answer here is letter a how did mystic incorporated compute the predetermined overhead rate for 2010. Okay, of course, our predetermined overhead rate is applied, ano, itong 4.25, saan daw ito nang galing? E siyempre, nanggagaling yan doon sa budgeted na cost natin, ano? So halimbawa dito, yung factory overhead mo is $1,275,000. And then, if we can identify kung magkano yung ating budgeted capacity, okay, our estimated na gaano kadami yung volume natin, ano, we can identify, we can get 4.25. O kung babaguhin lang kasi natin yung problem, ano, pag tinanong tayo ilan yung ating budgeted capacity, meron tayong 1,275 million divided by 4.25. Ibig sabihin ng expected capacity natin or the budget capacity. Okay, but letter A, the question is, ano daw? Papaano natin na-compute? Okay, o, niready ko na po dito yung solution para hindi ko na ito i-type ng isa-isa. Okay, yung $4.25 is simply, ano, based on per direct labor hour. Up, ah, lagi ako na pa per direct labor hour. Per direct labor dollar. Okay. So, based on budgeted factory overhead divided by the budgeted capacity na pag nirecompute natin yung budgeted capacity ay 300,000 kasi meron tayong 1275 pag dinivide natin yung 300 makukuha natin itong 4.25 okay now proceed tayo dito sa letter B the question for letter B is we have to journalize the application of overhead to all jobs assuming that April tot April's total direct labor cost was 22,700. Ang i-journalize lamang po natin dito is yung application. Okay? Application ng overhead to all jobs. Hindi po yung iba pang journal entry. Applied overhead lamang po. Now, when doing it, kinakailangan natin tandaan ano, na may mga information tayo kagaya ng mga sumusunod. And let me just flash to you para makita po ninyo. We have your direct labor cost no? for April, which is magkano yan? Your 22,700. I-remove ko na lang po dito yung dollar symbol. Ano? And then meron ka rin nung ating oh, computed total overhead based dito sa 22,700. Makikita po ninyo yung ating solution. Ano? Pag minultiply natin yan ng 4.25, okay, ang makukuha natin ay 96,475. If this is your direct labor, okay, this is your direct labor, uh, di tawag nito, overhead cost. Okay? But the question is, ano yung journal entry natin? So, 
Ito kasi, no? Is for all jobs. Okay? Para ito sa lahat ng jobs. At ang journal entry lamang natin is the application of the overhead, which is itong 96,475. So for us to do that, no? Oh, yung whip inventory to job 344, at saka yung pangalawang journal entry natin, or pangalawang debit account natin, is the other jobs. So nilagay na lang natin ito as other jobs kasi ang tinutukoy lang naman dito ay job 344. And then the rest, we can uh, assume that this pertains to other jobs. As to the number of jobs, hindi na natin alam kung ilan sila. Ano? Pero kung meron tayong 22,700 na direct labor, yung direct labor cost natin. No? So yung 3,900 para yun sa ano, job 344. Tapos yung remaining... Whatever is the difference between 22,700 minus 3,900, yun yung for other jobs. Now, we apply natin yung 4.25 na predetermined overhead rate no? para makuha natin magkano ito. Okay, 3.9 times 4.25, you will get 16,575. And etong 16,575 na yan, manggagaling po yan dito sa 96,475. Okay? Pag kinuha mo ito, no? Oh, you can help me. 22,700 minus 3,9. Ang ating direct labor cost, no, is 18,800 for the other jobs. Pag binultiply natin yan ng 4.25, dyan natin makukuha itong 79,900. Okay? Whip for the other jobs. Pag pinagsama mo yung dalawa, that is simply yours, 96,475. Now, ano yung journal entry natin sa credit, no? <laughs> so, yung credit natin, of course, the amount is 96,475, credit to manufacturing overhead control account because that is applied. Okay? I hope maliwanag po ito, ano? And this is the answer for letter B. Ayan. So, yan. Now, ang tinatanong sa letter C, how much overhead was assigned to job 344 during April? O eto class yung sagot nun, etong amount na ito, etong 16,575, yan po yung sagot natin sa letter C. Okay? Now, the question for letter D is, what was the April 30 balance or the ending inventory of the WIP no? for job 3, 4? So, meron tayo ditong T account na ginawa at of course, this is your WIP job 3, 4, 4. No? And given sa problem na meron tayong magkano, may beginning balance ito eh. Okay? Meron ba? May beginning balance ba ito? Oh, sabi dito, sa beginning balance is 18,350. Tama? Asan yan sir? Nasa letter D. Job 344 had a balance of 18,350 on April 1. E April 30 ang pinag-uusapan. Ibig sabihin, April 1 is your beginning. And then, of course, for the WIP, we have your direct materials. Direct labor, overhead. Magkano yung direct materials? O given, 29,600. Ayan. Lagay natin siya dito. Magkano yung direct labor? O given, 3,900. Asan yan? Ito yun, sir. Okay? Ayan. And then, apply natin yung overhead, 3,900 times 4.25 para makuha natin yung 16,575. I-add lang natin itong apat. Okay? Pag in natin yung apat, ang ating ending balance is 68,000. Okay, ayan po ano, 68,425. Okay? I hope maliwanag po yan at yung sagot natin sa letter D ay etong 68,425. Wait, sorry. Okay? So, I hope maliwanag po ito sa inyo at nakatulong ito ano, para mas lalong mapalawak ang inyong understanding sa job order costing. Okay? So, if you have any questions about this one or, uh, well, yes, specifically lecture about the sample computation natin on job order costing, you are free to comment down below. Ano? So, I will see you sa mga susunod natin ng mga samples or discussions on cost accounting. Ano?
Bye-bye.